Hold up. What are some of the trends you're seeing in terms of Chinese capital coming to the U.S.? Because that is the big story, obviously, at this event. Luckily, we see the Chinese uh, capital appetite for return mm -hmm. begin to reduce from high 20 to low 10s. That's being more reasonable mm -hmm. expedition. If you look really pushing for the high uh, return, you uh, meaning you're really coming to high risk. Right. It's normally you know associated with each other. Mm -hmm. And right now, I think their appetite and expectations begin to become a more reasonable range. That's make us easier to handle that. Okay. Another uh, trend I feel uh, is more diversified. Um, before you see state-owned company. Um, big development company come mm -hmm. in, but now you see insurance company, right. institutional investors yeah. come into play. They're also taking some interesting steps uh, with SMI, for example. They came in and they, they're in Gary Barnett's project in Central Park Tower. They've imposed a lot of conditions on their money. So they're not just saying, here's a check and I'll see you in five years. They're actually saying, here's what we need. There's a lot more demand, demanding. They're more demanding in the way they put their money in. In the past uh, two years, I think Chinese capital become very sophisticated right. and equipped with professional teams. Um, at this point, they are knowledgeable and experienced to have the real negotiation with all the developers in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. They're not only competing uh, deal by deal, but also uh, they have a whole screen system mm -hmm. to understand your background, to do their own due diligence, uh, come down to who they're working with right. and how the structure should be. But from Crawford's side, I think we trying to uh, tell the Chinese capital the market has changed. Mm -hmm. We should not only follow the market, but we should lead the market. At this point, uh, you know, in the past two years, uh, there were tremendous amount of land trades. Uh, it's over $228 billion. Right. And everyone knows the construction loan basically stopped. Yeah. And that means in the next 12 to 24 months, there will be a lot of land acquisition loan become mature. Uh -huh. Um, what's going to happen? Uh, that's a good question and to be asked by the Chinese capital. Uh, that's a lot of opportunity there, right? Yes, and, and that, uh, this, if you recognize that as an opportunity, mm -hmm. I would recommend the Chinese capital to go the upper stream of the game, mm -hmm. which means you can become the lender mm -hmm. to do the math for those projects. Right. One way you help them to go over this winter, yeah. but also you may gain an opportunity and access to a very good project if it doesn't perform. Right.